Elon Musk is saying he sees Tesla being worth more than the two largest companies in the world combined. Hi guys, it's Doc Curry and Tesla just reported their highest profit ever, yet the stock was down 4% after hours. In today's video, I'll explain why. We'll do a full analysis of Tesla earnings and I'll tell you where the stock is going to go from here. So let's get into it. Tesla just reported a record operating profit and Wall Street yawned. Tesla stock was down over 4% after hours. So if Tesla just reported their highest profit ever, why was the stock down 4% after hours? Well, there's a couple of reasons for this. First, even though Tesla beat on earnings, they missed on revenue. And a stock that has a PE ratio of 80 cannot be missing on revenue. Tesla has a current price to earnings ratio of 80. Keep in mind that the average market PE ratio is only 15. In order for Tesla to rise with the share price already at a PE ratio of 80, Tesla would have to beat on both earnings and revenue. And unfortunately, they just did not do that. Earnings was a beat at $1.05 per share versus only 99 cents expected. However, revenue missed at $21.45 billion versus $21.96 billion expected. Further, their automotive gross margins were steady at 27.9%, exactly where it stood in Q2. This has some people concerned that Tesla is no longer growing, or at the very least, that their growth might be slowing down. Now, despite these mixed earnings, Elon Musk did the best job he possibly could trying to get people hyped up on the earnings call. Elon said Tesla is likely to do a meaningful buyback next year, potentially between $5 billion and $10 billion, pending board approval. Share buybacks cause stock prices to rise because it lowers the number of shares outstanding. Elon also said, I'm of the opinion that we can far exceed Apple's current market cap. In fact, I see a potential path for Tesla to be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramico combined. Elon Musk is saying he sees Tesla being worth more than the two largest companies in the world combined. That is extremely optimistic. But the question is, is that set in any sort of reality, or is this just some major speculative hype trying to get the share price up? Well, the problem right now is that Wall Street is looking at auto industry earnings and looking for signs of demand destruction. The problem with the auto industry right now is that interest rates are rising fast. And as interest rates rise at a significant pace, combined with the fact that auto prices are also increasing, those two things are causing the cost of financing automobiles to absolutely skyrocket. And as the cost of financing an automobile goes up, this is causing some people to be priced out of the market because they cannot afford the monthly payments. And that in turn is gonna cause sales to go down. And that is exactly what's happening with Tesla. Even though earnings showed a record quarterly profit, growth concerns are emerging. Tesla has repeatedly raised the prices for its vehicles as parts have become more expensive and new cars have become difficult to come by due to supply chain bottlenecks. Combined with higher interest rates, this is causing the cost to buy Tesla vehicles to be far more expensive and there are concerns that this is in fact causing demand destruction for Tesla. Deliveries coming in below expectations paired with declining wait times for new vehicles, as well as a global economic turmoil, has sparked concerns about whether demand for Tesla vehicles might be weakening. The fact is, Tesla's 2022 deliveries are going to fall short of expectations. Tesla will fail to meet its long-held goal of growing vehicle deliveries by 50% this year. To meet that goal in 2022, Tesla would have to deliver nearly half a million EVs to customers in the final three months of this year. That would mark a 42% increase from Q3, 
when Tesla put nearly 344,000 vehicles in customers' hands, and that was already a company record. And unfortunately, declining wait times are showing that new orders are not coming in fast enough to keep up with the amount of deliveries that Tesla is able to put out. What that means is that Tesla is going to very quickly reach a point where they no longer have a wait time and they no longer have more buyers than they're able to deliver cars to. What will eventually happen is that Tesla will be able to produce more vehicles than they're able to sell. And once that happens, we are going to see a complete 180 in Tesla's growth. Further, a strong dollar and inefficiencies in new plants caused a dent in Tesla's results. Tesla is the latest of many companies to say that a strong dollar is weighing on results. Tesla said it had a $250 million negative impact from foreign currency effects. Inefficiencies associated with ramping up production at two new car plants also weighed on Tesla's bottom line, as did efforts to make battery cells in-house. Higher raw materials and logistics costs were also headwinds. So Tesla has a lot going against it in the short term that is pushing the share price down. In addition, a Tesla stock sale is coming soon. It's looking increasingly likely that Tesla investors are going to have to deal with Elon Musk buying Twitter. In the long run, the issue for Tesla investors is management distraction as Elon Musk now has to run another company. In the short term, the Twitter purchase means another large Tesla stock sale is coming soon. We just don't know quite yet by how much. Analyst Don Bilson figures Musk might need to sell another $8 billion in Tesla stock in order to complete the deal. The last time Elon Musk sold Tesla stock, the stock dropped by over 8% in a very short period of time. This is leading many people to believe that Tesla could drop all the way down to $180 a share soon once Elon Musk starts selling shares in order to buy Twitter. Now, even though the short-term outlook for Tesla remains difficult, the long-term outlook for Tesla remains quite strong. Don't forget that the U.S. government is helping to finance and support electric vehicle manufacturers. The Biden administration is awarding $2.8 billion in grants for electric vehicle battery manufacturing. And Tesla is one of those companies that manufactures electric vehicle batteries. So they are going to benefit from this. In addition, Tesla will also be able to qualify for vehicle tax credits once again, and that could further help boost sales next year. And longer term, self-driving vehicles, which Tesla is a leader in, is a growing market industry segment. Waymo, which is owned by Google, says it plans to launch its self-driving service in Los Angeles soon. There's also talk that Uber is wanting to move to self-driving vehicles for its taxi service, and Tesla remains one of the biggest benefactors in the self-driving industry once their full self-driving becomes complete. A lot of companies are going to need to buy vehicles in order to support full self-driving, and that means that they're going to be buying Teslas. So Tesla's long-term outlook remains extremely strong, even if the short-term outlook looks weak. What I would say is as Tesla stock continues to drop in the short term, this provides an incredible buying opportunity to buy more Tesla shares and dollar cost average in. The only question that remains is will Tesla's growth slow down and will the stock continue to fall in 2023 as the recession gets worse or will this short-term bearishness be the bottom for Tesla stock and are we going to see Tesla bottom out at $180 and then start going back up again? The future is unknown. We don't know where Tesla stock is going to go. 
But what we do know is these short-term issues that Tesla is dealing with right now will eventually come to an end and Tesla stock will start rising again eventually. If this video was helpful and educational for you, then be a good friend and share this video with your friends and family and on your social media pages so that others will know what's going on with Tesla earnings as well and they can get all the facts without any of the hype. Also, please be a good friend and hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to know more about what's going on in the overall market and especially how earnings next week are going to affect the market, then make sure you go watch the last video that I uploaded here.